My name is George, I'm the founder of Lesson Lab, and I'm going to show you the exciting new tools available on LessonLabAI.com. So the first thing you need to do once you've logged in is click on Enter Lesson Lab, and that's going to bring up the 80 or so tools currently available. I'm trying to add new ones each week, and you can always request a tool as well, and I'll do my best to get that included. Okay, I'm going to show you how the image to setting description works. So I'm sure we've all seen the tools where you can put in some text and generate an image from them. But for this, I'm going to show you how to do the reverse. So we give the AI an image, it looks at the image and creates that setting description for us. So the first thing I need to do is import my image. So I've just found a nice picture of a lake. I've then got three input fields. So my year group, I'm going to select year five. The genre, I'm just going to leave blank for now. And in the extra information bit, I'm going to say that I want a relative clause included. Is that something we've been focusing on in our English lessons? So we can see it's showing us the different steps that the AI is taking to be able to create this setting description. So it needs to analyze the request. It's going to stare at the image. It's going to pick out the key details. And then finally, it's going to create that setting description. So after about 20 seconds, we've got an excellent setting description about that image. And the next tool I want to show you is probably our most popular one, the chat with a historical figure. Now, what this does is give you a WhatsApp style interface so you can converse with historical figures from the past. At the moment, I've got about 100 historical figures on the website. So for this example, let's have a conversation with Neil Armstrong. Now, if you're doing this with the class, you might need the text a little bit bigger, which can be done up here. And I'll start off just by asking for a factual question. So what year were you born? And you can see he's given us a factual answer there. If you're doing a non-chronological report, you might need to know some information about their early life. So let's ask Neil Armstrong for the names and jobs of his parents. We can see here that he's told us that dad was called Stephen, his mum was called Viola, and we can ask a follow-up question linked to that previous one. So I've asked a follow-up question asking what their jobs were, and it says that his dad, Stephen, was an auditor for the Ohio State government, and his mother was a homemaker. You can also ask some more personal questions as well. So let's find out how he felt when he landed on the moon. So you can see here that he felt a sense of awe and excitement when he first landed on the moon. It was an incredible moment in human history. Now, this tool is great for any sort of research purposes. Like I said, you might be writing a non-chronological report and you need the children to find out some facts about the individual. So the next tool I want to show you is text to image creation. And for this, there are two input fields, the first one being type of image. So for this one, we're going to turn a setting description into an image. And in this box, I just paste that setting description. So after about 30 seconds, you can see here we've got an incredible illustration, an incredible image to go with that setting description. And I love to use this tool by taking the children's setting descriptions that they have written and seeing how accurate it was. So we generate the picture and then they tell us how close it was to the image they had in their head. Again, for the last demonstration for this video, I'm going to show you discussion statements. So for this, again, two input fields, first one year group. And uh, for the topic, I'm going to put water scarcity because we often do topics about where we discuss uh, water scarcity and its effect on humanity. So you can see after about five seconds, it starts to generate those discussion statements. Now, I used to work in Dubai in the UAE, so I'm going to ask for some specific changes and I want them to be themed on the UAE. So as you can see, it's now made those changes. It's themed these discussion statements on the UAE. There are 80 tools currently available on LessonLabAI.com. I'm adding new ones each week. Sign up.